but a hot air balloon disaster was narrowly avoided thanks to some luck and a number of people who leaped into action. It happened Sunday morning at a Michigan Challenge Balloon Fest flyover. A balloon carrying one man struck power lines, causing it to catch fire. Now, as Jennifer Ann Wilson reports, the quick actions of strangers may have saved the pilot's life. The hot air balloon crashed into these electrical lines, setting both the balloon and the basket on fire. The pilot still inside and then they floated over and crashed into Thompson Lake. That's where Dave Park was bass fishing when he looked up and noticed the balloon fest early morning flyover. Yeah, I was taking a few pictures. Admiration quickly turned to fear. One balloon started coming down and when he hit the wires, there was a big flash and an explosion, leaving wires sparkling and dangling, littering the shore with charred pieces of balloon. His basket and his balloon were on fire. While he was in it? Yeah. Dave Dilworth saw it all happen from shore. But he was kind of flailing away and yelling, and then that's when he broke free. He hit the water maybe like about 20 to 30 yards from the shore, and the guy who was fishing, he was coming from the other way and I was on 911 and I guess he was on 911 too. Lucky for the pilot, two fishermen came to his rescue. To be honest with you, I, I thank the pilot for being alive um, because I thought when we got over there that uh, it wasn't going to turn out so well, but it did. Park brought the pilot safely to the rescue crews waiting at the shore. Other boats hooked on to us and dragged us back to shore. We just had the pilot and he was holding on to the balloon. While he didn't take on many bass, Park reeled in a catch he never expected. We dragged in the biggest one, the balloon. 